Okay, so I'd like to make a review of this uh, rear back. It's the Givi EA107B. It's uh, 35 liters. As you can see here on my phone, this is where I bought it from. Uh, it's uh, the website is Carpimoto. Uh, I I bought this uh, because I made a trip to the uh, to the jungle here in Peru to Oxapampa, and I needed a bag here uh, to get to carry on all my stuff. I also have a tank bag, and of course I have the top case. But I needed something uh, you know easy to transport, uh, easy to get stuff in and out. Uh, in the case uh, this gets uh, dirty, you know, or wet or whatever, I can just, uh, you know, take this off and wash it. Something I can do with a top case. I always take care of this. And, of course, uh, the tank bag are uh, for things that are, you know, uh, close to, to me. Uh, like, uh, you know, any snacks, my gloves, my sunglasses, uh, maybe a, a rack, you know, a microfiber a towel, etc. So I needed to carry this for my shoes, for my clothing, you know, anything that I needed to take for my trip. So I look it up on, on the website and this is the one that I liked. I like this uh, because um, it's at 35 liters. I think it's, uh, you know, a decent size. I can put it here. I, it doesn't inter interfere for, for myself here or that when I am seated and riding a motorcycle. Uh, this is a good bag. I like to start uh, with the thing that I didn't like, which are the, the hooks, uh, the straps that are, you know, to, uh, to, to put it onto your bike. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, an extra strap that I have from other bag, but the Givis are pretty much the same. They come with a loop at the end like this, and then they are uh, straight. It doesn't have another loop like this one. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty much similar to this. I just didn't, uh, I just forgot it on my other house. So what, it, what you have to do is like this, you loop it around here, any part, any part of your motorcycle. So you put it around here, the loop. Then you tighten this, like so. And then you take the other end, I have to put it around these two loops, two, these two plastic loops like this. You put it around like this, and then you put it in between the two, okay? And then you tighten this, like so. So you pretty much do the same for each uh, each corner, this corner, and the other two on the other side. I'm not going to do it because uh, uh, this is really, uh, you know, difficult to, uh, you know, take some time to put on, and takes even more time to get off. So this is not really handy. This is the problem. When you have each of the corners uh, hooked up, uh, you know, you have some tension on the back because that's what you want. You, you don't want your back to move around, so you have to tension this really good. I mean, this do a good job. It doesn't move an inch, it doesn't move an inch, it doesn't get loose or anything like this. But when the time comes that, that you have to get this off it's really painful it's uh, you know it's really hard it takes many 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 minutes because let's say you have this on a tension like this how do you get this off i mean when when there's tension on the back there's no way to get it off i mean you have to juggle you have you know to struggle with these two loops and eventually get it get it off like this i can do it easily right now because there's no tension on the other side of the back so the only way to get this off would be like this. So I mean, I, I just don't like this. You know, this is really uh, not handy and not useful when you're on a trip and you wanna get this off quickly. But I have a solution that I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. But let's get to the good stuff of the bag. I like this bag because it, it has, uh, you know, a couple of, of outer pockets and like a, like a mesh. You know, this is like a rubber, rubber uh, you know band kind of a mesh when you can put extra stuff here uh, be careful because uh, I put here some gloves in that in the case I need to do some you know uh, you know some dirty wor work on the bike if something happened to me on the road I don't use my regular gloves that I ride the motorcycle I have like a mechanic gloves I put it on here and one fell off you know my body you know just let me know that one fell off so I would say uh, this would be for maybe large stuff, maybe like uh, like a coat, 
you know, like a jacket or anything like that. So you got to be careful what you put in here because it can come loose. There's another small pocket here on the top, you know. It's kind of uh, medium size, I would say. So you can put, you know, small, smaller stuff in here. And then you have the main uh, pocket, which access the main compartment of the bag. Uh, the bag is really, uh, really big inside. On my trip, I put some uh, trekking shoes, which are kind of big. You know, it it, it occupied kind of uh, this part of the back. You know, and then the other the other part, I, I I had space for my for my clothing, for you know any other stuff that you needed to carry. Uh, this is like a pouch for the rain because this bag is kind of a waterproof but you, if you get into heavier rain you would want to put this on so this is pretty simple you know and then it has like here uh, like uh, you know uh, something to tighten around it so it doesn't get off when you're ready I'm gonna put this back in there the zippers are really good uh, you gotta be careful not to put too much uh, you know to pull it a lot from the plastic part because you can get off from the from the rope here so you want to be really careful then on the other side you have uh, this part which is like a hard cover this is good because it maintains the position of the of the back and then you can access you know your main compartment from here Let's say uh, you don't want to open, you have maybe, let's say you have something on top of this. Then you have like an, like another, um, like another pocket to access from the side if you needed to. And then you can close this. And then if you go to the other side, there's a similar pocket. But this one, uh, it's just independent from the main, from, from the main compartment. So you can put, you know... What I put here was my, you know, uh, personal care stuff, like, you know, my deodorant, my toothbrush, my soap, you know, smaller stuff. But I, I didn't want to, you know, to, make, to get mixed with my other, uh, you know, uh, stuff on the main compartment. And then you have, uh, like, a carrying, you know, main strap. You can carry from the shoulder. And also, you have... Uh, here, here this handle where you can carry it as well and then finally you have some extra loops here on the top oh I would guess this is for you know uh, putting something on top of this and then you can you know uh, hook it with ropes from these two loops so that's that's what I guess would be for okay also uh, uh, this part of the side of the back is reflective as well as uh, these uh, two stripes here on the front of the back and finally in the at the bottom of the bag you have like a similar you know uh, loop you know strap mechanism that I show you for, for the sides where you can supposedly you know attach it to your seat like this but I don't see you know uh, I don't see a you know quick way to do it because if you have a lot of stuff here it will be hard you know to loop it around here and then even to you know uh, tighten this off so I basically don't use this because I would say with these uh, four corners would be more than enough to you know attach it to your motorcycle but if you need to you have this uh, second option okay so I'm gonna good I'm gonna uh, you know change uh, the mechanism of the back how how it hooks to a motorcycle what I'm gonna do is uh, basically I have I had this from another another bag. So it, it, this one has the plastic quick releases. I'm not sure how to call this, but you know what I'm gonna do is uh, use this part where it has like a hook like this. I mean like a loop. So when I, what I'm gonna do is let's say I'm gonna loop around from this part of the motorcycle. So I'm gonna do like this. Loop it around like so, and then have a quick release for the back. But how do I attach this uh, to these uh, two loops? Pretty easy. I actually cut off 
a piece of the of the uh, origi original uh, part of the back that came with the uh, you know straps so I'm gonna loop it around like this like so as you can see and then I'm gonna loop it around the original part of the back and then I'm gonna glue it with rubber cement and then I stitch it around from this part so it's gonna it's gonna turn on like this and you're gonna I'm gonna have a better attaching mechanism like so so whenever I want to get it off I just simply detach it and then I can get this off and have to deal with what I show you at the beginning of the video you see like so so that's a project I'm gonna do in the next days so I'd like to show you how it looks on the bike uh, you know it looks uh, looks okay you know uh, it doesn't occupy a lot of the of of your space when you're riding in the front and I think it looks uh, really good okay so that was a review of the Gibi uh, rear back EA 107B if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.